While a separate microphone may add complexity to your peripheral setup, it is quite clear the neat Bumblebee 2 accomplishes its purpose superbly. From the get-go, the Bumblebee 2 is built with a strong metal structure. Its weighted base keeps the unit in place, but Neat also provides options to mount the microphone onto a third-party stand if you so desire. On the external side, we have all the necessary knobs and buttons for quick adjustments without needing to go through any computer settings. There is also a clean headphone output so users can monitor their input. In terms of recording quality, the Neat Bumblebee 2 shows its versatility in its ability to capture sound well in various circumstances. Gamers and content creators will find this microphone able to fully capture their voice and instruments naturally. With its cardioid condenser design, it is a bit more sensitive to background noise, so users will have to be aware if they want to avoid capturing keyboard presses or mouse clicks. There are still some improvements I would make on the Bumblebee 2. For one, I would like to see a reduction in plosives, even if they are not too harsh. It might have also been nice to let users change the polar patterns. In terms of construction, I would also want an improved table mount to reduce vibrational noises and a braided cable. Even so, these minor inconveniences are overshadowed by an all-around excellent plug-and-play microphone in the neat Bumblebee 2. At the time of the review, the Bumblebee 2 is available for $100 US, which puts it squarely in opposition with the Rockat Torch. While we may not have the same RGB visual indicators, the performance and higher bitrate recording capabilities of the Bumblebee 2 make it a more adaptable option and a better recommendation. The full review is linked in the video description below.